This is like the start of 2004. So we've got about two or three years of this and it's about to go crazy. You haven't seen anything yet. Question, I have a few buyers and I know it's tough for everybody, but right now what my issue is not having buyers, but maybe getting them to actually put in an offer because what they've told me what they or what I've understood from them is that they don't want to be bidding and overpaying for houses and I try to explain it as much as I can that right that's how the market is you know they mm -hmm. basically if they want to get any closing costs you know good luck not like that but I'll, I'll kind of right. try and it's like kind of impossible to do that um and then I'll go into detail you know kind of like paying above appraisal that it's you know not really overpaying for the house because it's appraisal value versus market value um but still I've showed them a lot of houses and they still kind of like give me that roundup you know run around them they don't want to put an offer if it already has you know multiple offers right yeah I mean I think you know the first <laughs> thing you got to do is show them stats I hate telling anybody anything you know what I mean um, yeah I always like showing them so you've seen this before but you've seen this graph it's probably the most important graph when it comes to buyer motivation right like I, mean, I don't know how you you have a buyer consultation without this you know you've got to show them this is you know this is the trajectory of values so you know we're over here um, and you can kind of tell there's a trend here. <laughs> um, so if you're waiting, I mean, it's bad now, it's just gonna get nothing but worse later, you know? Um, so, and that's fine. I mean, we, if, if you wanna wait for prices to go up higher, there will be a time when prices are a lot higher where you don't have to deal with multiple offers and bidding wars. But the downside to that is you're gonna have to pay more money. I work for you. You tell me what you want to do. Does that make sense? And that's it. And you got to call their bluff, Daniel. And, and that's why the most important thing to working with buyers in a hot seller's market is you got to get more buyers. Because some people just make bad financial decisions their whole life. Um, and they never know it too. That's the crazy thing. So the key there is to kind of give them that, you know, that explanation, if, if you don't like competing for property right now, this is why everyone's competing. They know that housing prices are tended to go up for at least the next couple of years. There's just no way around that. Um, we just don't have enough demand or supply. Um, so that's what I'd be telling them. That's what that's why everybody's panicking over houses. They're trying to get them before they go up another fifty hundred thousand dollars. But if you're willing to wait and pay another fifteen hundred thousand dollars, man, you're the boss. You're driving this bus, not me. Make sense? Yeah, that, that helps. And then you gotta and then you gotta just unfortunately set them up on a listing alert search until they find the home of their dreams. And sooner sooner or later they're gonna go up and get one, right? That's what's gonna happen. They're just gonna this is gonna sink in and they're gonna go get one. And then what you gotta do is refocus your energy on getting more buyers because you're always gonna have some like this that take a while to learn. So you stay with them. You know, it's just like listings. There's, you know, not in this market, but in most normal markets. I mean, sometimes you got to list houses at a little high of a price so they see and learn that no one wants to pay that. And then they get real and they reduce. But some have to see it first. They take, some are just slower learners. They don't trust. Make sense? Hoping? Yeah. All right. That's what I would do. And then after that, that's the key to working in this market. The key is let's don't worry about how to get the three buyers under contract. Let's worry about how to turn three buyers into 13 buyers. Then you'll always be putting something under contract. And I know a lot of you heard me say that a lot, but boy, it's, it's really hard because we get frustrated. I mean, uh, you know, we, we always want to do the best and work for our our clients here and get them what they want, but man, they got to do their part too. And part of part of their part is getting real you know, and, 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 you know, opening their eyes to reality. I have a question for you. Yeah. 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 Dave Friedman out of Porter Ranch. Oh, hey, Dave. Um, yeah. I, I've noticed over the, the, the last month, the market in many areas, at least in LA, it has, has been heating up. Yes. It's, you know, especially the sub $1 million market. Um, and it was hot before. So now it's like insanely hot. That's the whole, <laughs> that's the entire world. That's not even just America. That's like the whole world right now. I'm not joking. Wow. Europe, Australia, Canada, every square inch in the United States is blowing up. This so is the, like 04 and 05. This summer 
spring going into summer, do you see more sellers maybe comfortable putting their house on the market? And do you think that will temper the, the hot pressure cooker? Or do you think that the demand will move up with any additional housing? My think my thinking is, and, and I'm almost positive, I, I don't think there's any way to, to anybody say anything different. This is like the start of 2004. So we've got about two or three years of this and it's about to go crazy. You haven't seen anything yet. Because when prices go up, that's when everybody starts listing their houses because they can get so much money out of it. Everybody moves up. Um, you know what I mean? There's so much, that's the key is the equity in the home. Um, very few people want to move when prices go down and correct, you know, because now people can't get money out of their houses. So all the dominoes stop falling. But this spring, I mean, you're going to see inventory like you wouldn't believe. It's not going to feel like it. And just to let you know, I mean, it feels like there's no inventory right now. But if you look at your lo local MLS, you're going to see sales volume is at or above where it was last year. Which means there were as many listings as there was last year. Because it's impossible to sell a house without a listing. It just doesn't feel like it because buyer demand is so out of control. We're just, they, they go in like one second. You know, and I can I can prove that to you. Um, is, are the millennials also giving an extra push? Are they getting out of their parents' basement? Well, I would think they got to grow up sometime. So it certainly can't be hurting. We're good in America at making more babies. And then they're good at getting older. And as that happens, you know, they're just buyer demand is going to keep increasing. And we're just not, we're not, you know, new housing inventory is just not going up. Um, so, yeah, there's, you know, there's no doubt about it. Um, All right. I'll tell my son to move out. That's it. Kick out your kid. <laughs> if there's one big takeaway. But yeah, I mean, we, we showed this last week, but uh, yeah, it's good. <laughs> good life advice on the mastermind today. Uh, take that with a grain of salt. But you can see like where we're at here. Um, and you can see this was the housing boom. You know, this was it. This was, and, and you know, we've been trending up all the way into 2020 and it's just gone even more crazy the first quarter of this year. And we're just inching towards, we're not too far off that number as it is. It's like, how could there be that many sales? There's nothing for sale. Well, no, there, there are, and they're just going so fast. You see what I'm saying? That's the hard part. There's tons of sales volume. And understand we as agents make money as a percentage of total sales volume. So there's that many more sales going on. There's that many more listings going on. It's pretty crazy. So we're inching back up. I mean, honestly, you could say there's there, there's more listings this last year than there has been since 2004. You can definitely say that. It doesn't feel like it. Doesn't feel like it. That's the magic of markets, man. That's the magic of markets.